Welcome to Kirsty TV. The day that you got caught hmm. and the judge reads out to you that you're going to prison for 16 and a half years. Was there was no tomorrow. There was no tomorrow. There wasn't even a right now. There's so many of these things that we're all going through and there's really this universal language. I'm gonna die here, but I don't wanna die like I don't want to die like an animal, and I don't want to die sad. And all we think about really is, I don't like the way I look, which means other people don't like the way I look, so I'm going to have to change to, to get people to like me. I think what's great about my guests is they're so real and relatable. So, could you crush my hand if you wanted to? Yeah! <laughs> 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 what's been the biggest learning from this whole experience for you? I didn't know that they were watching me make me through this process. Yeah. But there was um, light at the end of the tunnel for there, those watching. There was, there was yes. light. You, you are happily married seven yes. years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. It's such a work in progress. I should have orange cones for earrings. <laughs> she's like Oprah. Only white. She's like Oprah, but she is more Australian than white. She's like Ozpra. Welcome to Kirsty TV. Today we're going to talk about fighting for your right, sex, sexiness, and women. Oh. Breasts, breasts, and breasts. Oh. We all have them. Well, Not except all. you. Ready? Yes. Ready? Let's go. <laughs> when we share stories, it helps heal us and it helps heal others. I'm really embarrassed to even admit <laughs> this story, but I think it's a prime example. I caught myself in the mirror, rolling, rolling my skirt up. <laughs> And I'm like, what are you doing? It is time to go home. It's hearing those stories and seeing where they are now, yeah. how they've pulled it together, how they've come through, and then using that inspiration for your own life. Oh my God, I want to do a whole segment just on that sentence that yeah. you've said. Nobody taught me how to deal with pain. I really hope that when people watch this show that they leave feeling different, that they leave thinking differently and they're then moved to take action and act courageously in their life. It's our, our light and our power that actually scares us more than our fear and our darkness. I lost my virginity, my, you know, that virginity of thinking that nothing happens to you. you when yeah. something does happen in your life then you say, oh, because before that, it happens to everybody else. When I received my diagnosis, my doctor was shocked when I started laughing. He said, why are you laughing? I said, I feel like Mother Teresa. She said, Lord, I know you know how much I can bear. I just wish you didn't have so much confidence in me. <laughs> <laughs> this show is a place where we can plug back into what's really important and what really matters. So what do you do to move forward? Well, you move forward because you change, you transform your mind from, from negative to positive. If we find you at home on a Friday night, are you usually bedazzling? <laughs> My guests are powerful, strong, confident, inspirational, wonderful, amazing people who have the most incredible stories to share. Let us know what you think and we'll see you next time on Kirsty TV.